Hi, I'm Andy Chan, and this is my 15.112 project. It's a intro to programming course we do at CMU, and at the end of the year, everyone needs to have a term project. So, voila, here I am. So today, for my project, I'll be working with the projector and the connect, and I'm basically going to convert any relatively flat surface into a touchscreen interface. And here we go. So this is what pops up when you first start running the application and on the left hand side you have the black screen which actually displays if you touch and whatever is within your touching range will actually turn to white so um, it's just for your own personal use so you can actually see if you don't know exactly where your hand placement is and right over here on the right hand side we have the RGB feed which is just a live video feed from the Kinect and then over here is where our application starts running so the idea for this application is that it's kind of like you wake up in the morning, your alarm's ringing, and therefore you start off with just kind of like this red snooze button. And you hit the snooze button, and it's going to bring up to your home page, which displays whatever you typically need in the morning, whether or not you like reading news, you like checking the weather, you like checking your stocks, uh, any reminders you have, just like phone calls, anything really. So this is kind of what this, it's the concept design of this application. So let's move this over to our projector screen and as you can see everything's hooked up right now and this is what it will look like on your wall so just kind of go up here uh, the alarm isn't really hooked up right now so there's like actually no real alarm playing but hypothetically there would be an alarm this would be the snooze button and you just tap it and it'll bring you to the home page so this is what the home page looks like. Uh, as you can see, there's the home button up on the left hand corner. There's a weather display, the news, reminders, uh, if you ever want to see stocks, that's cool. And also you have the four widgets over here, which I consider as like one of the four main widgets every time you need Google, make a phone call, text, and email. Currently the three buttons, phone, e uh, text, and email do not work, but we can click on the Google icon, which will take us to a Google page. However, we cannot search anything right now. And up right here is just if you need any help with the interface of the screen, if you don't know how to work and everything. And also, um, it has a little instruction right here. It says select icon and press D to see hand tracking, which is going to have a blue dot to show up it when you recognize touch. So let's press D. And my hand should be showing. There we go. And also something to be noticed is that currently the module I'm set up, I did not hard wire everything so the image is at times warped as you can see and that's the only minor issue right here but anyways see if I can get some touch going on there we go let's go see weather as you can see there's a shot of our weather and if we want to do some scrolling let's put a hand up here alright voila there's the next page and then we can continue on. We can also swipe for it. There we go. Sometimes it's a little bit laggy right now with the program, but yeah. And then to return home, you're just going to swipe up. And then voila. Oops, I accidentally touched weather again. There we go. And that is back to our home screen. And uh, let's check out this little question mark feature in case you don't know how to operate everything again the screen's a little warped so sometimes it's harder to it's not completely accurate with where my hand actually is so just kind of bear with me there we go so this is the instruction page um, just gives you a demo of like what an example page would look like you still get the four widget down here uh, swipe up to go back home swipe right go to the next page swipe left go to your last page and over here we get the home button and it just says click home to return home so instead of swiping up you have the option to also click up so let's just go back home by swiping up because I think swiping is a lot cooler if you will. there we go so uh, alright so let's check out news I think my phone's blocking the way <laughs> there we go so here is uh, Yahoo, but let's say you, you don't want to read Yahoo right now. That's cool. Just go to the next page. Uh, there's BBC. Back to Yahoo. And 
right, let's go back home. All right, there we go. And uh, there's also reminders. Uh, let's. Oh, also the Google Chrome button. Let's check that out briefly. There we go, and there's Google. Right there. And now let's check out the reminders page if you ever have like reminders throughout the day and stuff. So, get the blue dot down here. Okay, so this is would be your reminders page. You got your work, you can change your list, schedule, you kind of have to check marks of what you've done in the day, what you need to do in the day, and stuff like that. And then we'll use the home button to get back home. There we go. All right, back to home. And also just for fun, I wanted to show you guys a feature that I also have in the program that adjusts to whatever surface you're actually using. So in the previous, you saw I demoed on a projector, but now I'm just in my dorm room. Uh, I have wall. As you can see, there's some uneven surfaces, but the basic filtering does account for some of it. And as you can see with my hand, there's the this is just a demo of the blue tracking ball. It doesn't have the full application uh, running yet, but just wanted to give you guys a demo that it can run on relatively any flat surface. So it's my fingers. So that was my demo of my 15.1.12 project and personally I think it would be a really cool concept to put a touch screen interface on any relatively flat surface. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks guys for watching.